nestled in the heart of Bangalore, Sacred Heart Girls High School stands as a legacy of hope, resilience and empowerment. This journey began in 1854 when under the calling of Vicar Apostolic of Mysore, Reverend Shorbanor, five sisters of the Good Shepherd sailed from the Mother House in Ange, France. They embarked on an ambitious mission to open orphanages, schools and hospitals in India, inspired by the vision of St. Mary Euphrasia Politia, the founder of the Congregation of the Charity of the Good Shepherd. On August 1854, these pioneers arrived, bringing with them the hope of education for girls. Under the guidance of the vicar, the Sisters of the Good Shepherd founded the first school for girls in Bangalore, a mission they have been carrying forward for 170 years. To this day, the vicar's heart rests in a glass urn in the community chapel, a testament to his enduring bond with the sisters. St. Mary Euphrasia Pelitia, born Rose Virginie Pelitia, joined the Congregation of Our Lady of Charity of the Refuge in 1840, dedicating herself to a profound mission of compassion and service. As superior in 1829, she founded the House of the Good Shepherd in Ange, France. In the erection of the Generalate in 1835, the houses found by St. Mary Euphrasia Politia came to be known as the Congregation of Our Lady of Charity of the Good Shepherd. By the time of her passing in 1868, her vision had spread across 110 foundations worldwide. St. Mary Euphrasia Politia was canonized on May 2nd, 1940 by Pope Pius XII. Since 1854, the boarders were organized into several boarding houses. One of these houses was dedicated to the Sacred Heart as its patron which later evolved into what is now known as Sacred Heart Girls High School. By 1864, it had been elevated to high school status, and on September 15, 1899, it gained recognition under the Madras Educational Rules. In 1902, the institution evolved into a college, and by March 1904, it offered government-recognized training for women. For over 30 years, the college empowered women until its closure in 1939 due to grant restrictions. However, the school continued. It was a bittersweet moment, but the sisters channeled their energy into enhancing the high school and community welfare work. Throughout this journey, the school was guided by visionary superiors and headmistresses. Mother Mary of St. Teresa von Cholemer was the pioneer superior. Mother Mary of the Visitation Lush Cholemer, the daughter of a Perusian banker, played a crucial role in supporting large-scale developments in India, including Sacred Heart School. Sister Mary of St. Joseph was the first headmistress and was one of the five sisters who founded the school. Another remarkable leader was Mother Paula, whose dedicated work in education earned her the Kaiser Ahind Medal, a prestigious honor bestowed by the then government. Yet, as World War II erupted, Sacred Heart faced its share of struggles. With determination, they adapted, ensuring that the institution not only survived, but flourished. Today, Sacred Heart Girls High School is more than just a school. It is a nurturing ground for bold, empowered women. The school has achieved excellence in academics, athletics, and cultural activities, embracing a legacy that continues to evolve. In 2024, it was recognized as the most dynamic school and for providing the most affordable quality education. These accolades reflect its ongoing commitment to shaping bold, empowered women ready to lead and serve. 
Here at Sacred Hearts, girls are not only educated but are inspired to find their voices and pursue their dreams. The school's ethos is grounded in the belief that each girl deserves a future of possibilities, independence and empowerment. Year after year, Sacred Heart graduates step into the world as compassionate leaders, professionals and change makers. Sacred Heart Girls High School stands as a beacon of hope, drawing strength from its remarkable past and looking forward to a bright future. Through every student who walks through these corridors, the legacy of the Good Shepherd Sisters lives on. A legacy of compassion, education and empowerment. We extend a heartfelt gratitude to Sister Anita Hodges. Good Shepherd Society Archivist for her exemplary dedication and expertise. Her meticulous heritage record management system, remarkable memory and exceptional attention to detail were instrumental in bringing this documentary to life. RJ Quadages, do well all that you do. Let's sing out gladly as we march along. Do well all you do is our motto and our song. Our loving shepherd.